Welcome to Head to Head, our weekly prediction show. Anise, everyone is scratching their heads this week over the Auburn Tigers. What has happened to the Tigers? The head coach, Gus Malzahn, has made a change at quarterback. He's benching Jeremy Johnson. He's starting Sean White. The defense still has a headache from running into Leonard Fournette or attempting to run into him. Can you make heads or tails of this whole thing? I, last week is definitely a week that Auburn wants to forget. Like, they, they played really bad. But you know what? The season's not over just yet. It's not. Well, if, if they could beat Mississippi State, I feel like maybe they could start swinging the other direction. We'll see what Sean White can do. That's the kind of optimism they need on the plains right now. So let's take a look at Mississippi State. Dak Prescott, the last two years against Auburn, he has had some huge games for running over 120 yards in both of those games the last two years. He really had his coming out party two years ago in Jordan-Hare Stadium, and, and they, they should have, would have, could have beaten Auburn that day. And then they did take them down last year, and Mississippi State moved to number one in the country for the first time in program history. And Dan Mullen has started to flip the script in this series. He beat Auburn in 2012, should have beaten him in 2013, maybe, and then did beat him last year, and now he seems to have the upper hand this year. And after they lost in Starkville last year, I feel like that was the start of Auburn's troubles. Absolutely it was. Do you know since that game, Auburn is 5-6 and six overall. And in every one of those games against FBS opponents, they've given up, at, except for Louisville, they've given up at least 30 points. Not a good trend for the defense. And Will Muschamp obviously has not been able to right the ship so far. But this game will be played in Jordan-Hare, which is good for Sean White. He doesn't have to deal with all those cowbells like they had to do last year. <laughs> I imagine they'll smuggle a few in. But the Auburn home field advantage didn't help very much against Jacksonville State, did it? No, it did not. Of course, I, they always, they're always better at night in Germany. I was about to say, this one is at night, so I feel like the atmosphere is going to be a lot better, a lot louder than it was against Jacksonville State. Okay, so what everybody wants to know, Anise, is does Auburn fix what's broken? Is Sean White the answer? Does Will Muschamp get that defense together? Can they win this game? So I don't think it can get any worse for Auburn. I, I think Sean White is a step in the right direction for them. I guess we'll see. But... The defense, that, that's the question for me. It, Carl Lawson is still out, and it sounds like he's going to be out for a while. So who wins? I, I'm going to go with Mississippi State here, just because, mostly because of the defense. Like, I don't think, even Sean White, I don't, even if he is the greatest thing Auburn's ever had, I don't think he's going to be able to make up for the defense. What's your score? I'm going to go with Mississippi State, 35 to 24. 35-24. Well, let me, let me suggest this to you. It can get worse at Auburn. It has been worse at Auburn. Remember 3-9 in 2012, 0-8 in the SEC? If they don't win this game, they could go winless in the conference this year. They're not going to win this game. Sean White cannot fix what's broken with that offense because there are other issues besides quarterback. And Will Muschamp hasn't had near enough time to put his stamp on this defense. They will lose. They will lose by two touchdowns, 31-17. to 17. If we're right, it's going to be pitchforks and torches next week.